Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom Archiv page with a custom Archiv design for your blog pages. So first of all, you're going to need unlimited elements for Elementor installed. Once you install and activate, it will add it to your WordPress menu. Inside of unlimited elements, you have all sorts of categories. And for making an Archiv page, what we're going to need is a post grid. So right now I'm in the post grid category selected. And over here, there are all sorts of styles for our post grids. I'm just going to quickly install a couple of these so we can test it out and see how it works and how it works with the Elementor Archive pages. Next thing we're going to do to make a blog page, you're going to want to go into templates, theme builder, and inside of theme builder, we're going into Archive. We're going to create a new Archive. We're going to call it my blog. And by the way, this can be used for anything, for example, for recipes or events or any type of stuff like that with custom post types. But we're showing a simple example right now. We don't want to select any of these predefined templates from Elementor. I'm going to close the, the dialog that opens up automatically. And I'm going to search for the word grid. And these are the grid types that we have installed. To make this work, all you're going to need to do is drag and drop. So let's take one of these inside and drop it inside. That's how easy it is. Now, this is one of the grid styles that we have for posts. If we change the display amount, instead of three columns, we can do two columns. We can do one column. And you can determine how many columns you want in each device. For example, for this skin. Let's delete this skin and try to add another one. Perfect. How cool is that? So all these sort of kind of cool effects couldn't be found before on uh, Elementor and we have added some new skins. We're going to be adding some more skins. So if you have any ideas for skins that you tried to achieve and you couldn't achieve, please write us in the comments and I will make sure to add those. It's important for me to explain that unlimited elements, the idea behind of it is to create unlimited uh, amounts of content um without any limitation so we're looking to increase our catalog and by a user request so if you have something special that you try to achieve and you couldn't this is the place to write it and i'm the person to talk to about it so all of these uh, were requests that we have already gotten from users asking how can i achieve this i don't know how to make it so now you can make it with unlimited elements. Cool. Thank you guys for joining. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to create your own custom post list and put that inside of the archive. So see you next time and bye bye.